Hi, this is Ronnie, and this is How to Kill a Kit with Style, August 2019. And today's layout that I'm going to be sharing and doing a process video for was a challenge on the in the Secret Not Secret Kit Club party at the end of the month. And the challenge was to create a page with a like a faux uh, cut file. So it's not really a cut file, but you're going to use it and cut it and put it on your page like it is. And since right now I'm seeing all kinds of layouts with the mermaid tail because of the Creative Cuts Club, uh, which is a club that um, you get cut files that's already cut for you every month, I'm seeing this mermaid tail. So I decided to use it with this picture of my granddaughter. And so I just drew one on uh, copy paper and I adhered it to this card stock. Then I cut it out and I am going to gut it with an edge all the way around the top part and later in the video after I've done and uploaded this to the Facebook group like a couple days later I kept looking at it and thinking the bottom part of the tail should match the top part I'm going to go ahead and add to this video what I do with the bottom part of the tail now in hindsight looking at my finished layout I was wishing I had made the top part more narrow and made the fin part on the bottom the fins bigger but I'm going to end up leaving it like it is because by the time I looked at that and realized that and thought about that my layout was done yeah I am just trimming this up a little bit to make it look a little more even and I'm also going to pick out papers for the fins uh, I'm going to pick out one with pineapples but I am not going to use it and I am also going to pick out one with the little pinwheel looking things on it. Oh, here I am taking a pencil and going around the inside of my fishtail so that I can go right to the, well, right past the edge on this and not, and not go out past the end of it. And be able to tell exactly where to put it so I can lay it right back down on top of it. But like I said, the pineapples are not going to go on it. You will see me pick them out on the papers and a few other papers. And I think everything else ends up going. And I do pick a red too because I decided I wanted to have the red go with the red on the beach towel. And see, there's that pineapple. But no, it is not going to go. And I'm going to use one inch punches for the inside of the fin and then I'm going to take the white paper and I'm going to make the outside and here's some of the I'm going to have to pull some more cardstock out of that because that is definitely not going to be enough but that's an inch and a quarter punch and I'm going to just adhere the insides to the outside of the circle and that's what I'm going to use for my fins. I'm just going to layer on one on top of the other. And on the edges, I will be cutting some in half so they can fill in little spots and fill in the whole area of my fishtail. And it looks like I punched out a lot here. <laughs> but once you start layering them on top of each other, it's not quite enough to do my body part of the fishtail. I'm going to have to punch out some more before I get done and here I'm using that outline I had with the pencil to start but I had to double check with my tail to see how I want to delay them and I like I said I do decide to cut some in half so that they can go along the edges and you won't see the paper behind it and uh, I go from the bottom up on this and uh, it does take a little while to do this but I am going to cut it out because you can get the idea real quick of layering these and they do like look like scales well maybe not quite the color of scales but they remind me of scales by the time I get done and here I'm working on the bottom part of the tail and my plan is to cut these little teeny tiny flowers out and this is an EK success punch it comes in a pair and it has two different flowers one is a bigger flower this one's well it's 
fatter. Let's just say that. It's not any bigger around, I don't think. But it is another flower. And I'm using the more narrow flowered petals on this. And I'm going to punch a bunch of them out, same colors as, ab as above. And then I'm also going to sprinkle some sequins in with it. And then they'll be the Felicity Jane sequins. And they're like a uh, light pink, a darker pink, uh, a red color, purple color, clear, white, and like a really mellow yellow. There's quite a few colors in the bunch. And I'm going to scatter them on my fishtail, and then I'm going to end up scattering them on my page, too. But, uh... Yeah, and I'm going to keep looking at that tail and keep thinking, you know, I wish I thought of something better to do with it. And I'm going to end up doing an outline to match the outline at the top. I really was, when I was originally did the tail, I didn't think it mattered. matter. And of course, I keep wishing my tail's bigger every time I look at it, uh, the bottom part anyway. But it's not, and it's going to stay the way it is because I glued down all these little flowers and all of these sequins. But I totally love the challenge. It was so much fun at the Secret Not Secret Kit Club party. And had so many challenges. I did not even come close to getting them all done. But I did have fun doing them. And I would have never done this layout with a faux cut file if it hadn't been for the challenge. Here I'm matting her picture. And I picked a striped piece of paper out of the 6x6 six six paper pad. That had all the colors that are basically in her towel. And then I'm going to turn around and mat it on top of the green paper, too, and have a double mat. And I did gut the piece of paper, yeah, and since it is a 6x6 six six paper pad and not that much to it, yeah, I wanted to save as much as I could. And I'm going to use those uh, dies right there. It's Heidi Swap handwriting for my title, and my title is going to be Mermaid Hair Don't Care. And it's going to go right below the picture. I would not have put the whole tail together if I thought ahead exactly where I was going to put the picture. But I got busy doing it and forgot to lay the picture back up there and just leave that part out. I, I might have had enough for little circles to start with not to use it if I thought ahead. But yeah, there's my picture and that's my granddaughter and... She is such a tiny, tiny thing. She eats all the time, all day long. She snacks and does not gain weight. She's so much smaller than her twin sister that the school even wanted them to get checked out to see if there was anything wrong with her, her being tiny. And so they did, ran a bunch of tests. They said, nope, there's nothing wrong with her. She's just tiny to start with. Here, I'm trying to decide what uh, pieces of ephemera to use with my layout and I will go through this and spend a lot of time fussing and trying to decide so I'm going to cut that part out because I pulled so much out that I didn't use and tried it here tried it there and couldn't make up my mind since I had the focal point as far as embellishments being my uh, mermaid tail I really didn't want very much on the rest of the layout I wanted that to shine and the picture of course that uh, nothing seemed to work. I even tried the rest of that uh, frame, that dark peak frame that's going around the edge of her picture up there with the banner, but decided I didn't like it up there either. But the banner itself says summer, 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 over and over again with different colors. And I took a couple of uh, Tim Holtz staples and put in it and before I glued it up there and here I am back the layout was done and here I am back and I'd cut out the outline of this and I used that same piece of uh, copy paper to make this and just drew, out, drew around it and then gutted it as I did with the top of the tail and I wasn't going to film that I was just going to go ahead and do it and I thought why not I haven't uploaded it yet I might as well f film it so the first part is not here. It wasn't that I cut it out. It's just I didn't have my camera on. And all I'm going to do is glue it down over. Oh, I'm having to erase some of the pencil marks there. I apparently didn't get them all erased the first time around. And 
I'm going to glue it down and it's going to look a little bit lumpy when it's done but I'm still happy with it. I think it helps it match the top part of the tail so I like it. But I'm also going to look at this and you see I just have a few sequins up there at the top and a few sequins beside that dark colored frame that's on the edge of the picture. Well I decided that I wanted some more sequins and I kind of wanted them to go like a wave so it'll come from the top of the layout where the banner is and then it'll go behind the photo and then they'll go over on the other side left side and side of the tail and then back over to the mermaid hair don't care and down to the corner and it may not look like a wave to you all when you're looking at it but that was my idea behind it and I liked it when it got done and uh, of course I used a lot of my sequins and I did spill some yeah I did spill some because I've lost the lid to my sequins it hit the floor went rolling and I couldn't find it and I've spilt sequins two or three times since then so you know they're slowly disappearing on layouts and around my room I guess but I am using liquid glue to put that down and where you see me with the scissors right there it's where something's sticking out just a little bit and I'm just taking the scissors and tucking it back under there rather than cut another piece of the tail and here's where I decide I want that one fin to come home over the top of the edge of the bottom part of the tail it's tucked under but I got to looking at it and I thought you know I think I'd like it up over the top and so I did and this is where I pull the sequence back in because I do not have near enough on this layout and I like sequins and I thought what better time to use it than a mermaid tail with the sun reflecting on the fins if you ever been fishing it seems like when the sun reflects on the fins of the fish they just kind of sparkle so I wanted to add some more sparkle to my layout and have that wave go through the page but that's my layout that's it I am done with it I didn't add no more didn't take anything else away and it is for the challenge for the secret not secret kit cup full die, uh, cut file challenge and the first picture that you're seeing here is the one without all the extra sequins on it I just have the sprinkle of the couple and then the second picture that you're gonna see here is the one where I added all the extra sequins and had the idea of the wave going through the layout and also adding more sparkle to my layout but if you leave a comment below I will be sure to respond if you like the video please hit the thumbs up button and if you're not subscribed I would love to have you subscribe thanks for watching and have a happy scrappy week bye